Hello everyone, today we are going to study about multiplication tables of 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, before we go to the part, we I want to remind you something about the multiplication. Do you guys still remember the meaning of multiplication? Yes, multiplication is a repeated addition. What does that mean? Look at this picture. I have four bunnies here. Each bunny has two ears. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, if you want to count the number of the ears, what do you need to do? You need to add. So we get the first bunny two, the second bunny two, the third bunny two, three, uh, two, and the fourth bunny is two. So when we add it all, we have two plus two plus two plus two, so we get eight. This is the same like we are saying that there are four groups of two, four groups of two, or you count on two, so we say it as, four twos okay and we can also say this as four times two or let's put a symbol let's make it as four times two so we get eight so multiplication can be described as repeated addition can be described as blah 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 groups of blah 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 or can be described as four count on what numbers and then we can put in the symbol like this. So if I say count on three, so the multiplication will be threes. Get it? So count on four, we say fours. Count on five, we say fives. Count of six, count of six, we say sixes. Count of seven, we say sevens. Count of eight, we say eights. Count of nine, we say nines. Count of 10, we say 10s. Do you guys understand? Now let's go to your textbook. Look at your textbook. Look at the textbook page 58. If you check, okay, now we are studying the count and sixes. Count and sixes means we count the multiplication six. Get it? The multiplication table of six. So we have six. 12, 18, and 24. In this question, you check each ladybird has six legs. Okay, so we have four groups of six. Which one is the group? Group one, group two, group three, group four. And each group, there are six members. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's why we say four, four groups of six legs. So the multiplication is four times six. Get it? Next, how about this? What should we do? Look at this one. There are three beetles. Each beetle has six legs. How many legs do the beetles have all together? Okay, how many legs do the beetles have all together? So let's count in sixes. So you write down the multiplication tables of six. Okay, we have six. You add with another six, you get 12. Okay, and then you add another six, you get 18. Do you understand? Now, on the picture, we have three beetles. So we have three groups of six legs. So the multiplication will be three times six. So we write down here, three times six, then we will get eight in. Okay, so the beetles have 18 legs all together. Well, if you check in your workbook, we already have the multiplication tables of six over here. Have you guys seen it? So it's so easy to complete the answer of this part. We have six, 12, 18, and then after 18, we have, okay, this one is one times six, two sixes, three sixes, and then we have four sixes, four sixes over here, we have 24, okay? So we put 24 over here. Okay, and then we have five sixes. After that, five sixes, five, five, five sixes, we get 30. So you put 30 here. Okay, and the next you will get six sixes. You find the answer here, okay? Six sixes, of course, we get 36. And then we continue, we have seven sixes. What is the answer for seven sixes? Yes, we get 42. So you write down over here, 42. And then you have eight sixes, find over here, this one is eight sixes, 
And then after that, you get nine sixes. You get 54. Okay, how about this? You just need to find out the answer over here. Guys, I suggest you to memorize the multiplication of six. Why? Because this is important for you. You guys understand? So you may copy from this part and don't forget to memorize the multiplication tables of six. Get it? Let's go to the next part. Okay, so over here we are studying now the multiplying seven or skip counting of seven. So we can say it as I count and sevens. Okay, look at the picture. Each group has seven kittens. So how many groups over here? We have one, okay, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five, right? So if we count in sixes, this is one, uh, sorry, if we count in sevens, this is one times seven, two times sevens, three times seven, four times seven, and five times sevens. Or we can say it as one sevens, two sevens, three sevens, four sevens, five sevens. So what is the answer? Yes, we get 35. You guys understand? So this is the same like five times seven, five times seven, we get as 35. How about this? Look at number two. There are seven pea pods. Look at this. We have seven pea pods. Each pot has seven peas. How many peas are there all together? So in, in the groups, there are seven members. So you have to check how many groups over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Multiplication of seven, we say it as count in sevens. So if this is seven, let's check. Seven, this is one sevens, two sevens, three sevens, four sevens, or four times sevens, we get, yes, we get 28. And then after that, five sevens, we get, yes, 35. We get 35. Next, six sevens, we get, Yes, we get 42. And then the seven sevens we get? Yes, we get 49. Get it? Okay, now over here we have the question. Seven times sevens, we get 49. So there are 49 P's all together. Okay. Well, actually, on your book, we already have the multiplication tables of seven. So what should you do, guys? I really, really suggest you to memorize the multiplication of seven. Okay, well, actually, it's easy. If you still remember the concept of the multiplication, you just need to add seven to seven to seven until the multiplication that you want. But if you want to make it faster, try to memorize it. Now, look at this. Seven. Okay, this is one sevens, two sevens, we get 40, three sevens, we get 21, and then you have to count four sevens. What is the answer? Yes, this is the answer, four sevens. You write down over here, 28, and then you continue, you count five sevens, find the answer, you put it here, okay? Next, how about question B? Before over here, this is four sevens, 35, oh, 35 is, oh, yeah, it's five sevens. So over here is six sevens, and then seven sevens, and then eight sevens. Write down the answer. For all of this, for the answer, you can see in the multiplication tables. But once again, I really suggest you to memorize it all. Get it? Now let's go to the next part. Okay, look at this. Over here we have three octopus and each octopus has eight arms. So over here we have one, two, three groups of eight arms. In other way, we say this is like as three times eight. So if I count in eight, we get eight. This is one eight. And then two eight, 60. And then three eight, 24. So three skips of eight show three groups of eight okay in other way we say three times eight you get 24. you guys understand okay over here we have question number two evie has five coins 
Each coin has eight sides. How many sides do the coins have all together? Okay, look at over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, right? So we, we count in eight. Okay, we have five eights here. So this one, one eight, 16 is two eights. Three eights is, yes, we add another eight over here. 16 plus eight, we get 24. Okay, and then we have uh, four eights, we get 32. And then we also have five eights, we get 40. Okay, so over here, because we have five coins and each coin has five sides, we write down five groups of eight or five times eight. So we get 40. So the coins have 40 sides all together. Okay, look at this. Do this. A, 8, 16, 24. Okay, once again, actually your book has provided the multiplication tables of 8. What you need to do is, if you don't want to memorize this, you need to add 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, plus 8 until you get the multiplication that you want, right? Well, I guess that's difficult. So, to make it easier, just memor try to memorize this part. Okay, guys, so after you memorize this, okay, look at this part. So we have 8, this is 1 8, this, uh, this is 2 8, 16, 24 is 3 8, and then we need to count, we need to write down 4 4, oh, sorry, 4 8, we get 32, for 4 8, we get 32, we write down 32 over here, and then 5 8, 5 8, we get 40, Okay, we get 40. And then we have six eights. Six eights, we get 48. You guys understand? Okay, and then how about this? How about this? You just find in the answer in the tables, multiplication tables like eight times nine. Ah, I want to tell you this. If you have this kind of question, uh, do you still remember sifat pertukaran komutatif pada perkalian? Well, actually, this is the same like nine times 8. So 8 times 9, the same like 9 times 8. So this is the same like 9 eights. So 9 eights, the answer is, we have over here, 72. So you write down over here, 72. You guys understand? Okay. Now we go to multiplying by 9. Well, actually, this is very easy. How? Because you can use your fingers like this. So you, if you want to know 1 times 9, you close one finger here, and then you get the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1 times 9 or 1, 9 is 9. How about 2 times 9? Nah, you close the second finger here. You close this part. So we count this as 1. And then the rest of the finger, we count it as 8. So the answer, we get 8 in. How about 3 times 9 or 3 nines? We close the third finger here. The third finger here. Okay. So we have 2 over here. And then the rest of the finger, we get 7. So the answer is 27. So bend your finger, your third finger, so you get 27. That's the same like you were doing four nines. You bend the fourth finger, this part. So it's going to be three, and then the rest is six. So we get for three, four nines, we get 36. Okay, how about this one? Okay, use finger counting to find the answer. So we have five times nine, okay. Uh, put your hands, okay, open your fingers. Now you close the thumb of your left hand. Okay, so on your left hand, you get four fingers left, right? And then on your right hand, you still have five fingers opened. So the answer is 45. Get it? Okay, how about six times nine? Okay, open your fingers, okay, the right and the left hand, and then you now close the thumb of your right hand. Okay, and then you count how many fingers on the left hand that is opened. You get five. Okay, and then how many fingers on your right hand that is open? Yes, you get four. So the answer is 54. Do you understand? Well, actually, your book is also provided the multiplication tables of nine. So this is not kind of difficult, right? So look at this. Nine is one nine. Eighteen is two nines. 
27 is three nines and then after that you count four nines four nines over here we have 36 and then five nines over here we have 45 okay and then this part is six nines you get 54 for the answer over here this is very easy oh i want to remind you again about this nine times three Mr. tiara what is the answer how can we find the multiplication of nine times three once again, look at, uh, still remember the sifat komutatif pada perkalian. Okay, so 9 times 3, this is the same like 3 times 9. I repeat, this is the same like 3 times 9. So, this is the same like 3 nines. 3 nines, we get the answer is, yes, we get 27. So, over here, you write down 27. Do you understand? It's also happened for F and H the same way. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much, friends.